Welcome to the Vice Vlog. Welcome to the Vice Vlog. I'm fucking me. And I'm fucking me. You know what? I'd fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to the Vice Vlog. Um, apparently, this episode is getting to know me because Justin didn't do any research for anything else. So, I have no idea what questions he's going to ask me. We're just going to fucking freestyle it and see what happens. We're going to get to know this guy. I'm sorry. I don't even know why people care to get to know me, honestly. I have not seen any of these questions. I have no idea what's coming, and that looks fucking sketch. It's not, it's not, uh, not that bad. I'm still not looking, so I have no idea what he's going to ask me. I'm a little nervous about it, so it is what it is. He knows I got anxiety. This is like not asking yet. me, <laughs> motherfucker, really, bro? All right. Now, wait, but before we get started, how, how, how deep can we go? I might have to mark some of these off. I mean, we're not talking like... I'm not answering any sexual questions. I'm not. Okay, you got a pen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I don't know, man. Let's just see where it goes. That response has gotten you in trouble more times than you care to count. I, I get it. <laughs> That's cool. I'm not going to freak out. Like I said, I got anxiety when it comes to not knowing shit. I have to know everything at all times. If I don't, it's fucked up. Like, me and him got a little thing that we do to each other where oh, we're... Yeah. Like, hey, bro, I need to talk to you. And it's like, <laughs> both of us are the exact same when it comes to that. Because we're like, no, bro, you're going to tell me right now. Right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's talk tomorrow. Right? No, no, <laughs> no, no. No, bro. It, 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 we're done. What, what's going on? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, if you're not taking the job with the food truck. I've already told you. <laughs> I mean, free food, bro. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. No insurance. No, we ain't got insurance. Yeah, I mean, what? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's not really a selling you're, point. You're going off the rail. Now, you did. You went off on this fucking tangent about your fucking I, ADD. It's not. Blood. Well, it's I, dude. I've got like a fucking mixing bowl of bullshit wrong. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, which we're gonna get into. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, we're gonna start easy. I'm sure we are. <laughs> when did the idea for opening a vape shop become real? Um. When mom cashed out her retirement, <laughs> honestly, you know, the whole vape thing, man, it was kind of weird how it all started. I just like a lot of people started watching YouTube videos and I was like, wow, that's cool. And I was always enamored by the, the equipment and the, you know, how much better it was constantly getting, but I didn't have the money to go out and just buy all this bullshit. Right. So I, I'm not going to lie. I fucking was like, I'm going to start a YouTube channel and people are going to send me free shit and I'm going to talk about it. And that lasted for like a month, which that's actually this channel right now. Yeah. You can go back and see all of his old videos. It was bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Propping I mean, his phone up on a desk. He and won't. <laughs> yeah. And he won't let me, uh, he won't let me like delete them. He's like, bro, that's nostalgia. Yeah, that's that's fucking that's money. It's like you that's can't gold. you can't get rid of that. Yeah, you know, it was like some of my first builds on RDAs and shit. <laughs> Terrible. Right. But I mean, like I said, we didn't know. You know, I mean, nobody knew how to do this shit. We was kind of making it up as we go. Right. I wasn't the wizard then. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you and I have talked about this before, but how did the name Vapor Vice come about? You know, that's that. Sitting on the floor at the house in front of the fireplace again was like, I'm going to do this YouTube thing. And it just popped. It was like, boom, vapor vice. I was like, well, it's kind of a vice. I like vapor. Huh. There we go. Let's put a though on it and it worked. It's that easy. Boom. <laughs> For a guy like me, it got easy. All right. Now, without really, you're, you're going to have to tread thin ice on this one because, you know, we don't, we don't want to give away all the secrets. Oh, but. Fuck. Do you have any pointers for people that currently own a shop or want to open a shop? Uh, open up a nail salon. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Serious business. No. Um, the most nerve wracking part about the whole endeavor in the beginning was, like I said, we only had so much money. And uh, I literally sent $20,000 overseas 
to not know I was going to be getting any anything in return. <laughs> yeah. So here I am Googling fucking Xinjiang or whatever in China <laughs> trying to figure out, okay, that's a real building. So <laughs> right. I might be okay. So yeah, yeah. Satellite image. It was, it was very nerve wracking, man. And honestly, it was like when we first started it, there was so much I didn't know. And yeah. it's probably a good thing because if I would have known those things, it may have swayed me one way or the other. Yeah. So... I said, just chase your dreams, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, why not? You, <laughs> you want to do it, do it. I mean, they all told me it was stupid and it couldn't be done. And, and, we, and, and you we, proved them wrong. I, that's what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to help you. I appreciate you. that. <laughs> if you could be doing anything else right now, career-wise, what would you be doing? Porn. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, it's not. What else would I be doing? It would be some form of business. I love business and just doing your own thing my own thing it's like i've i don't mind playing by the you know other people's rules it's just welcome to my life ex exactly <laughs> well you don't really have any rules i'm pretty easy to get along with as long as you just can do my thing <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> no, um honestly I, I really there isn't anything right now that i can think about other than what i'm doing so i don't usually get outside of the box while i'm in the box so okay fair enough fair enough that was hard. All right. We're going to blast through these next ones. Just basic, stupid questions. What's your favorite color? Um, I had to say green. <laughs> Somehow I, I knew the answer to that <laughs> right? one. Right. Favorite food? Uh, that's, that's tricky. <laughs> like, like dessert food or like real food? Real food. <laughs> Fuck. Steak, <laughs> lasagna. Not much of a pasta guy, but uh, steak. Lasagna. Oh, I'm fucking three about pound it. steak up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now, if you want to get into my favorite dessert food, I mean, I'm all about some cheesecake. Oh, fuck, fuck yeah, bro. Some good oh, cheesecake, yeah. oh, yeah. you know, like some, not that shit out the box cheesecake. Nah, nah we, we go to Cheesecake Factory yes. and you just order fucking dessert. Just, I just need cheesecake. <laughs> right? <laughs> fuck the menu, I know what I'm getting. <laughs> it's not going to matter. I need cheesecake and lasagna. Right. <laughs> favorite music? Uh, probably rock. Now, if I had to get into it. Like, as far as what I like, probably one of my favorite bands right now is Imagine Dragons, which you know that. Tom yeah. McDonald, I like him a lot. Uh, Eminem, just kind of along them lines. Yeah. Favorite movie? Mm, probably Braveheart. That's not a bad one. That's a great one. And then Gladiator's a oh, close runner-up. Dude, are, are, are we like brothers? We what just became <laughs> brothers. I'm a lot better yeah, fucking, looking, but we were brothers. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, fucking uh, Terminator 2 and Gladiator are like my top two movies. So. Terminator 2, huh? Yeah, that's interesting. Judgment Day. That's interesting. That's uh, Which one's the one that the guy turned into liquid? Is that 2? That's 2. Yeah, that was weird with Edward Furlong. Mm -hmm. and Yeah, that was a weird one. Yeah. First one was pretty good. It was all right. I mean, you can definitely tell it's an 80s movie, but... I mean, <laughs> you know what, though? It's a cool so The second one, they, they, they jumped it up on the production. So. Yeah, they did. <laughs> That's why I can't wait till the the new one comes out. I watched the last like, one. It was okay. Well, the 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 next one that they're coming out with, mm -hmm. it, they're gonna pretty much pick off pick up where uh, two left off. So they're gonna continue that okay. storyline. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I would so probably I watch. Can't it. wait for that. Yeah, I would watch it. And uh, the preview looks pretty decent. There's a preview out for it. And uh, all right, let, let's let's move on. Let's not waste any more time here because I wanna I wanna get down this list. <sighs> You're somewhat of a car guy. What's your, uh, what's your dream car? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously a Lambo, but I have a bad back nowadays and I can't get into it, so I'm thinking Lincoln. <laughs> Somewhere along them. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to go more towards luxury. Right. The, the old man car. <laughs> the old man car, yeah. It's like I jumped right past my midlife bullshit. It's right. Like, <laughs> it's all bad. All right. You ready? Yeah. You sure? No. <laughs> Now, one thing I've learned about this guy is that, you know, if you just solely follow him on social media, he likes to keep a lot of his personal shit private, which I can respect that. Mm -hmm. uh, I can respect that. You don't, you don't really see a lot of, like, personal, like, family stuff or, you know, personal life shit. You, you know, it's all memes and dumb shit. Pretty much. Yeah, for, for the most part. <laughs> I keep it lighthearted. Right. So, uh, with that said... Describe TJ, the family man. Like, uh, what do you do away from the vice? Uh, honestly, whatever the wife tells me. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to get a lot of dishes, cook. I, I do cook. Um, we spend yeah. a lot of time with the kids. I used to do a lot of video gaming and shit like that, but 
you know, as things have changed, it's like you just don't have the, the push for that anymore. Cut yeah. grass on Wednesdays, anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so just pretty much. Pretty much just yeah. normal guy outside yeah. of work. So. Right. All right. Cool, cool. Now let's uh, let's go back a little further. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're a beast. <laughs> What was going through your head when you first became a uh, first became a father? No, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Um, th there's a couple of ways to interpret that question. I was about to say. Yeah. L let me rephrase. <laughs> what went through your mind the day your kids were born? Uh, after I woke up from <laughs> passing out three times because I managed to do it every kid I've ever had. I pass out. Um, I cried like most dads. I would oh, yeah. think. Um, it was happy, proud, really. It was like, I felt like I was holding up little Simba. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never go to the east side. <laughs> you see that area over there? Oh, dumbasses. <laughs> oh, fuck. Apologies to any of our east side customers. We love you guys. But we are east siders. We can. Yeah, we, we, we love you. We're I, probably going to cut that out. I'm actually <laughs> southeast side right now. Right. I could say that and be cool with it. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're definitely, we're, okay, we're, we're done with <laughs> What's your biggest pet peeve? The case is not being put together the right way. Like, Sorry. Irates me. <laughs> I, I, oh, holes in the cases. If they sell something out of the case. <clears throat> V1. That, <clears throat> just kidding, guys. Yeah, that's probably not going to get cut out, though. <laughs> Hint. <laughs> no, probably just... Um, my biggest pet peeve is probably that, as far as work goes. Home, um, just a messy house. I don't like. I, I'm weird about clutter. I don't like clutter unless it's my night table or my desk at work. Then it looks like a hot mess. But right. Oh, pause. customer. <laughs> so all right, the, now we're into the last twenty questions here. Jesus. <laughs> not I, we're supposed to make this funny <laughs> a little bit it's like i'm boring you know, you know what i mean it really is you're ruining um, my persona <laughs> everybody thinks i'm the mean lord <laughs> you kind of are no, i know i mean mean thief <laughs> <laughs> right all right how do you define success uh being able to get up every day go take care of business take care of your people that are with you uh, putting out a good product um, and really just being able to sustain uh, a business that is uh, in good standings that's really kind of how I feel about it obviously you know I'd, I'd love to be bigger but I wish I was like six foot nine with the way our market is it's it's just you take it day to day and as we're where we are right now I feel like we as you know, a brand and as a shop and everything that we are, I feel like we've we've done a pretty good job, and I would say we we're successful. So, five years in. But... All right, last question. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not. I, I don't even have to look. Did, did I just hear a car horn? Somebody's probably breaking into your car. Ah, oh, they can have it. I've got gap coverage. I was gonna say I left my keys on it. Right. Windows rolled down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what does the future hold for TJ? <sighs> Obviously, we're going to continue the vape endeavor, but I do have my eyes on a couple things. Um, I'm actually looking to maybe start a tanning salon. So I've got an opportunity, and I think I'm going to take it. Um, so we'll see what the future holds there. And as far as, you know, a little further down the line, I would like to get into real estate, start moving uh, Living some houses and shit. I didn't say that. I prefer slumlord. <laughs> I'm thinking retirement since our since our pension plan isn't real great here at the Vice. I've got to have something. No, I actually, you know, working on houses, flipping houses, things like that is kind of where I want to be. So good money in that if you know how to do it. Which if you can do, I it. don't. So. I mean, I know how to call people to have them do it, right. <laughs> but you know, you got to have the money to do that. So yeah. That's kind of what I got. Well, that's a wrap. So they, you guys know him a little better. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm actually really a badass in real life. Um, this is all just uh, trying to manicure my image. No? He's not a badass. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a gummy bear. <laughs> it's been left out in the sun. I'm right. Really, really soft in the metal. <laughs> not, not one of Alex's gummy bears, right? No. No. We've got a, we've got an agreement that I won't blast you anymore with shit like that. 
unless you guys want to see it, like, subscribe, hit the <laughs> bell. Uh, we'll be at you with new content constantly then if you guys want to watch him get roasted. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to get him. But anyway. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got yours coming. Uh, it's coming. I'm, I just, like I said, it's, it just don't get me bad. Don't fuck with the creamer because that shit. Oops. Neither one of us go buy creamer, so <laughs> right. any more than we have to. So if you wreck my creamer, you wreck your creamer. But I can drink my shit black, so. Yeah, I can too. <laughs> you just have to whiten your teeth every right. once in a while. All right, guys, that's all we got, really. Right. I mean, just a basic week, so. Nothing too cool, man. Uh, we do have some shop info we need to get out. Um, this location, uh, Wanamaker, will be open on Sundays from, I think Charlie said 10 to 8. We're going to run that for the next few weeks and see how that goes. Uh, we've actually been doing okay here, so we can go ahead and bump the hours and see where that takes us. Uh, time to roll the dice. Boom. Again. Snake eyes. Oh. <laughs> Ow. But, uh, yeah, it's all great. So, man. yeah, opening Sundays. So, we, we got that going. Anything it, else? No. Your beard's starting to look pretty fucking okay. Yeah, I need to trim it up a little bit, though. Get get the sides going. Yeah, that. I mean, you got this big old fucking lumberjack beard. <laughs> right. It's like, it, when it, you it, shave that shit off, dude, it's like, it fucks you up. It does, because then my double chin shows. And... No, it's like you don't have a top chin, you just have a bottom <laughs> chin. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we got. Uh, we'll see you next oh, week. Oh, no, we're just getting going. <laughs> all right, guys, peace out. <laughs>